All right. Oh. Here's Nadine and Ruby. Ruby. All right. And Ruby looks very happy and confident. So we'll see how this goes. Just so you know, Nadine, I I took her Zooks treats and made it into four. Four little treats. <laughs> we don't want to fill her up all at once. <laughs> all right. So here's our box. We'll get her attention here. And as soon as she gets forward attention, you can let her go. <laughs> nice. Good girl. Okay. Back. Happy, happy, happy. Back to the start line. So now, I noticed this box is about the top height that Ruby could have. I will try um, a different one as well, but I'm not going to use those these ones because I think they would be a little bit high. What we don't want to do is make it frustrating for the dog to get the treat. These treats need to be accessible. The whole point of this game is to have the treats as an instant reward for uh, completing the hunt. So we'll see how this works. If Nadine was at home and wanted to make this work well, you might want to cut the flaps off the box to start. We'll see how she does with this. I'll put the treat in here. Okay. Ruby! As soon as she faces forward and pays attention to me, let her go. Good, let her search. Good. Nice. That was great. You let her make, make the choice. Perfect. Happy, happy all the way back. So, to get, <laughs> even, awesome, even if I am encouraging you to move on, try and get your dog to move by uh, getting a treat in front of their nose okay. or whatever you need oh, to I do. Rather than treats then too? Yep, you can oh, use your okay. treat to get her away again if you want to. Okay. Um, rather than pull her on her collar and leash, it would be better to encourage her to go with you and to stay happy. Okay. We don't want to uh, have a negative experience with this. We we want the dog to feel like they're in charge. Okay. Okay, so here's another one. Okay, we're ready. I'm going to try a taller box just to see, um, and I think I'll put it on its side. 